going to be unboxing a Tamron 70-200 f2.8 lens with a Sony mount. Nice carrying case, rather heavy. Ring around it. There is the lens. Here's the hood. our lens. Let's see here. I don't think you can see through it, but it is huge. Let's see here, it has the pinch type lens cap. Good. Auto focus, manual focus is done like that. Made in Japan. All right, let's put it on a camera. Here we are mounted on an A550. Let's see here. So let's look at our autofocus speed. Let's see here, can you see that? Come on, go back. There you go. That's at 70 millimeters, at 200 millimeters, substantially slower. It's not that loud. It's not as loud as I thought it would be because um, the noise is coming from the screw drive in the camera, which all of my lenses have, so it's about the same as normal. It's not hypersonic, but that's that's what you're getting. It's not hypersonic. All right, with the lens hood. Oh, it is a big lens. What the hell? Oh, that's annoying. The, the screw on the uh, collar kind of gets in your way from actually being able to adjust the zoom, or I'm going to have to figure out how that works, but it's kind of annoying. Alrighty then. Well,
Well, there you have it, the Tamron 70 to 200. Um, I'm going to do a bunch of test shots this weekend and hopefully include these at the end. All right. Okay, so these are a bunch of pictures that I shot that uh, the first weekend I had. This was actually the first picture I took with the uh, 70 to 200 f2.8 Tamron lens. Um, turned out pretty neat. Uh, the shallow depth of field here, you can see there's only a swath, and I think this is at f5, so I don't know how well this detail is coming through, but it should be a pretty detailed image. Here's a flower I took. You can see the background is completely blown out. Um, kind of using some of the macro of this lens, not real true macro, but um, as this zooms in, you can see the detail captured on these flowers. It's uh, pretty amazing. Here's another uh, bell tower. Again, details, color that this lens was able to pull out the the sharpness and um, was pretty amazing. I was very pleasantly surprised with the amount of detail that this lens was capturing. And I don't know if this video is gonna do it justice. Here's a picture of some guy with a cigar, but you can see the how the subject is separated from the background with this lens. There's another one. The focus is on the guy in the middle, so um, depth of field was a little shallow. It was, I think, at four and a half or five. But you can see the people on the edges are starting to blur out. Here's another one just to see the separation, how it really focuses on one person and allows you to blow out in front and behind them. Subject separation from the background, noisy background, lots of people, but because the lens was able to focus on her with a, its large aperture and huge front objective lens, it was able to really separate her More pictures, really sharp. I don't know if this is going to do it justice. Colors that it pulls out are, it's really contrasty. I like it a lot. A beach shot. So, all in all, the lens, it's quite heavy, but that's what you're paying for. Um, Let's see here, what else? The zoom ring is really smooth. Um, focus speed, I've, it seems plenty fast when in full daylight. The, it uses the camera's screw drive focus system and it works great. It, just like all the other lenses I have, it seems to focus fast and uh, accurately. Um, when the light is really low, it hunts around a little bit, but it doesn't seem to go through the entire focus range, so it, it's not too terribly slow. It works, it finds it eventually. Um, it almost makes my focus points a little bit more sensitive than they typically are. I mean, what you want has to be exactly on the focus point, otherwise it may not uh, get the focus or may miss it a little bit. This was shot through a piece of uh, really dirty plexiglass separating us from the alligator, but it got the reflection and it really got this animal beautifully. And there's some bird food with crickets on top. This was quite a ways away. I think this was at 200 millimeters, so... The amount of detail it picks up is amazing. And colors, basically all green in this frame, but it was able to uh, pick up some nice colors in here. Everything was really sharp. There's some 
diagonal lines, I forgot the term for those, in one middle section of this where the two um, cage bars kind of align. Kind of a macro image of a cactus. Meerkat was really able to get his fur, and it separates him from the stuff in front of him and it behind him really nicely. You can see the bokeh in the background a little bit. Pleasant. There's some drooling camel. But it was the detail that this was able to pick out once it zooms in further, I mean, it was remarkable. Another meerkat. Again, separating the subject from the background. So all in all, I am really impressed with this lens. I, I'm really enjoying it. I can't wait to get better using it. It's quite heavy, so your normal camera strap probably won't suffice. You'll need the, something else to hold it. But other than that, it works beautifully. All right, well, thanks.